was funded by the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. It was an eight-year study that was conducted in three locations statewide. We had um, faculty at the West Florida Research and Education Center in Jay. We had two faculty at the Gainesville location at the Plant Science Research and Education Unit in Citra. And we had a faculty down in the Fort Lauderdale Research and Education Center. The objective of the study was to quantify nitrate and phosphorus leaching from lawn grass species under a wide variety of circumstances. The reason why this research was important is because there's great concern over potential pollution from the nitrogen and phosphorus that are in the fertilizers we use on our home lawns. And certainly if those nitrogen and phosphorus particles get into the water bodies or our underground water table, they will cause pollution. So our objective was to find out exactly what happens when we apply fertilizer to lawns under those various conditions. Over and over again, we found that application of fertilizer to a healthy lawn resulted in extremely low rates of leaching of either nitrate or phosphorus. The reason for that is because when you have a healthy lawn, you've got not only a dense shoot cover on top of the ground, but also a pretty massive root system underground. And that gives the grass the ability to absorb the nutrients in a very, very efficient fashion. For homeowners, general rule of thumb is do not apply any fertilizer before April. Don't apply any fertilizer after late September or maybe early October. It's very common, I think, for homeowners sometimes to go out in the spring on one of those nice first warm weekends and say, I'm going to fertilize the lawn, and there go three bags, which is probably covering about six times the amount of, of fertilizer that you should be putting out. Folks need to make sure that they are applying the nutrients at the recommended rates that UF IFAS has for all of the various species in the geographical locations throughout the state. When you apply your fertilizer and how you manage your grass throughout the year are some of the most important things that homeowners can do to number one, keep a healthy lawn, and number two, make sure that we're not causing any non-point source pollution from the fertilization. For expert advice on how to maintain your lawn, contact your local county extension office. Thank you.